During Christmas, I was a little low on funds and I wanted to give my friends and family something very special. So the first portrait that I actually painted was a portrait of my mom and I gifted that to my brother. And when I saw how much joy that brought him, because like, it brought him to tears, I wanted to bring like more joy to people's lives. Monica Zamaripa is a compliance officer by day and an artist at heart. You know, every time I would put a new um, po a posting of one of the portraits that I actually finished, I would get a lot of responses and then I would pick up like, hey, can I commission you for a pet portrait? And you know, would you be in? Yeah, sure, awesome, yeah, I'll do it. I had a couple of friends that had some pets and one particular friend, um, one of her pets had passed away and I went ahead and wanted to gift it, um, wanted to go ahead and do like a pet portrait for her. And then I just decided, you know what, um, my mom was my biggest, you know, fan and, and with my art and, you know, she did pass away, um, sadly, in 2014 from cancer. So, and for, for me to just like show that I wanted to honor her, I went ahead and decided that I wanted to do uh, an art business. And so I named it um, after her, which is called Ophi's Custom Art. Her passion started at an early age, and it's the art that helps get her through her struggles. That's kind of like my getaway, and I just love it. I have the passion for it. It helps me like mentally, like mental health. It's like kind of like my escape, but it also gives me fulfillment, like seeing joy to um, someone's face when they look at it, especially if it's a pet that they that's passed, and they look at it and they get like really emotional, and they're like, "Oh my God, you captured." my pet like perfectly and I would have have you know like thought that it would end up like this good and I'm like wow like I'm like I think I'm okay but okay thank you. <laughs> These are some of the ones that um, have already been uh, sent to their pet owners but um, I went ahead and uh, developed them uh, myself and framed them and signed them because I wanted to eventually maybe reach out to like uh, you know, veterinarian hospitals or, or practices that they have their own business, you know, if they'd be interested in maybe, you know, getting some personalized pet portraits. So whether you need a portrait to remember a lost pet or a gift for a dog mom or dad, there's no request that can't be done. Counted um, since March, I've actually done about 20. That's and it's good. And it's still coming. Right. Like I have a, quite a few um, orders already lined up. Actually, I never thought I'd be painting a lot of pets, but <laughs> at this point, I feel like those are my favorites to paint because for some reason, these, these pets' eyes just like, oh, like when I'm drawing them and painting them and then you know when I, uh, I I paint the eyes and once I paint the eyes and and the nose it's like the the painting comes to life and her creativity doesn't stop there check out these concha shoes I freehand these and I painted these and I put the bomb dulce because I love sweet bread <laughs> I know I love sweet bread I've gotten a pretty good response with uh, custom art shoes as well one thing that's for sure, she's spreading joy through art. A world without art is just like no color. And I think that art just pretty much brings a joy to the world, happiness. Um, you can express yourself through art, you know. You can um, put down your thoughts, your feelings, your anything that you want to express in art. And I think that's, that's a great thing. For Essay Live, I'm Jen Tobias Dresky.